Hi, Mark here, and I trust you're well. In today's Lightroom Classic Quick Tip, I'm going to give you two reasons why I feel you should work in collections and not folders within Lightroom Classic. However, before we jump into Lightroom Classic, I just wanted to tell you about my live Lightroom support group, hosted on Monday evenings, 7pm UK time. We look at a theme most weeks, a task, and then we end the evening helping you with your Lightroom Classic, Lightroom and Photoshop queries. And we do that as a community because there's not one answer for every solution. Now, if that interests you in this live support group, just visit learnlightroom.co.uk. I look forward to welcoming you Monday evenings, 7pm, live on Zoom. Now, without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. So here I am in Lightroom Classic version 12.4. This is my training catalog with a mixture of raw images, which are legacy images of mine, and some royalty free images that I have a license to use from agencies. Now the first reason why I suggest we use collections rather than folders is that the folder panel on the left hand side is only available in the library module. So if I make this right hand image here of this flower an active image and I press D for develop module, the folder panel disappears but the collections stay there. Now we could use the film strip by coming down to the bottom and our film strip is at the bottom. But again it's showing a collection of the images, but it also reduces the screen real estate. So that's the first reason why I say the folder panel is only available in the library module on the left hand side. Collections are available in every module. Okay, this collection panel. Another reason why is that we can share collections within Lightroom on the on, in the cloud across our devices and with friends, family and clients. You can't share folders. Additionally, you can make multiple collections with multiple copies, virtual copies. That's a line in the catalog. It's not an additional file. You can create virtual copies, multiple copies of the same image with multiple styles, so black and white, sepia, different edits, and put them in different collections. You can't do that with folders. Folders is one location, there is the file. Okay, so it's a workflow thing. But the real reason why I like collections is when I edit them and I want to use an external editor. So let's say I'm gonna go D to take my develop settings here. And I want, I want to do some heavy lifting, something that I prefer to do in a different application, or perhaps I want to uh, use a, a different plugin or something that um, allows me to go off to somewhere else, so Photomatic, uh, Topaz, etc., and so on. So what I can do is Command-E, which I'm going to take it to Photoshop in this case, and the important thing is to edit a copy with adjustments. So if you wanted to go to your alternative, so you're going to press Alt-Command-E, and that will pump up your editor, or you can press right-click on your mouse. So we're going to edit this image in Photoshop, and it's going to make a end copy of it. So And it'll open it as a PSD file. There we go. So we've now edited this as a Photoshop file in Photoshop. And I now want to do some heavy lifting. So, and actually, I really like the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a loose selection around the plant, the flower. Press Shift Delete, which brings up Fill. I'm going to make sure Content Aware is selected. Press OK. It's processing that for me. 
and there we go. Not a brilliant copy, but or a brilliant uh, content aware fill. But now I'm going to go File, Save. Saving it as a Photoshop file. And because I've done that in a collection, go back to Grid, it's put the image in the collection as well as in the folder. So this now, if this was a shared collection online, either in a device or with somebody else, this image would appear. So editing within a collection with an external app, when you bring it back to Classic, it'll save it as the file in folders, but it adds it automatically to the collection. There we go, multiple reasons why I think we should use collections rather than folders. And just to recap, folders are only available in the library module. Collections are more flexible. You can have the same image in multiple collections and you can't have that in folders. You can have multiple edits in different collections. You can share your collections. But if you work in collections and you go to a third party app to do some form of editing, when you save it back to Classic, it puts it in the collection for you. So it's continuing your workflow. So I hope that's sort of helped for you today. If it has, please subscribe, give me a like. Got a question, leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this type of content, come and join us, learnlightroom.co.uk. Live, 7 p.m. most Monday evenings, where we look at a theme, a task, and answer your Lightroom, your Classic, and your Photoshop queries as a community. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.